Celtic kick off 2024 with a trip to Townhead Park to face Air United in the Scottish Cup. And they'll be looking to kick this year off with a positive start. Caitlin Hayes on the ball. And she'll look to spread it out to the right-hand side. As Shen finds Partido. And she'll try and get the ball into the area. And it's cut out. And it's just as well that it's cut out for Air United because Amy Gallagher was lurking in the six-yard area. And the ball sent into the area. It's not dealt with. It's still in there. A bit of a stramash in the six-yard box. And Air United do well to work that clear. But only as far as McInerney, who sends it back in. But Air United will deal with that one. A half chance early on for Celtic. Partido. To Shen, who finds herself in the box. It's Natalie Ross on the spin and the finish. It's the first goal of 2024. And it comes from Natalie Ross. A positive start for Celtic. And Ross with a very tidy finish. Pass back is short. Air United with a chance, and it's a good save from Doherty. That could have been dangerous for Celtic, but thankfully the keeper was equal to it. Celtic find themselves once again advancing towards the area, but it's cleared away for Air United. But Natalie Ross will pick that one up, and she's brought down on the edge of the area. And this is a free kick and a dangerous position for Celtic. And it looks like it will be Amy Gallagher who curls it towards goal. And what a goal that is. From the right boot of Amy Gallagher into the top corner. It's 2-0. And Celtic are in full control of this cup tie. The ball out wide and whipped into the area. And Chloe Craig really should have found the back of the net there. It was a golden opportunity. The ball sent across, but she just could not get the connection. Caitlin Hayes once again advancing up the pitch. This time it's Jenny Smith who has it on the right-hand side, but she'll give it back to Hayes. Gallagher holding the ball up well. Caitlin Hayes with the captain's armband on today. And the ball is sent through to Jenny Smith in the box. But the finish is unconvincing and the keeper will gather that one. Well, Celtic have had chances to make this 3 or 4-0 in the first half already. Maria McInerney from the free kick. And it's off the post. Well, it was a decent effort. Caitlin Hayes sends it forward towards the edge of the area. Shane works it through towards Amy Gallagher. He'll cut it across. And how has Jenny Smith not found the back of the net from there? I think the keeper gets a touch on that. Smith will be disappointed that she's not made it 3-0. Celtic building from the back as Hayes finds space and sends it forward. It's through in the box for Amy Gallagher, who finds the back of the net and makes it 3-0. Celtic are surely through to the next round of the cup. Amy Gallagher gets clattered here in the box, but she makes no mistake and finds the back of the net. Shen on the ball in the middle of the park. Gallagher looks to find a bit of space and she does find space and sends it through for Natalie Ross who clips it just wide of the far post. A truly dominant display from Celtic so far and Natalie Ross so unfortunate not to find herself on the score sheet again.
Shen. About 20 yards from goal. Drives it low and it finds the bottom corner of the net. A wonderful finish. And no more than her performance today deserves. She takes one look up and then buries it into the bottom corner. Now the Celtic supporters here making a fair bit of noise as Celtic get on the front foot again. Gallagher sends it out wide to Kavanagh. And it's Partido on the ball. Celtic moving it about very well this afternoon. And Kavanagh gets on the spin. Now it's Kavanagh, about 25 yards from goal. And it finds the bottom corner of the net. I think it's taken some of the supporters by surprise. But Colette Kavanagh is on the score sheet. It's five for Celtic. Celtic again looking to work their way into the box as the ball is sent across and what a finish from Natalie Ross a wonderful ball into the box from Lucy Barclay pinpoint precision on that cross and Natalie Ross a few yards out just to knock it home and make it six for Celtic Natalie Ross again sends it through into the area and here's a late chance and it's just wide of the post from Tyree Burchill. The through ball was excellent and Burchill just unfortunate that she's on the wrong side of the post there. Celtic hunting for a seventh goal and this time it's Natalie Ross through for the hat-trick but it's saved. Well, we felt sure that would be number seven there, but the keeper had other ideas. Kavanagh to Shen, to Craig, and here's Sydney Cummings, who clips it towards goal and into the back of the net. A magnificent seven for Celtic in the Scottish Cup. And what a goal by Sydney Cummings. She just lofted it towards the goalkeeper who had no chance really.